Hello again, Freedom Fighters. I'm back, and today it's the sickle's time to be shown off if it's worthwhile and we can what we can do with it. And while we're at it, we can also review the stun grenade as well. And if you don't know yet, it's from the new Premium Warbond Cutting Edge. It is out now, so do check that out. The purpose of this video is for us to check if it's worth your medals, super credits, and of course, your time. Now let's get to it. So this is the weapon that we're going to be talking about. It's the LES 16 Sickle. Uh, it is energy based, it has a damage of 55, power limit of 9, recoil of 2, and a fire rate of 750. And the grenade that we're going to be talking about today is the G23 stun. Okay, let's have a quick rundown. With this auto rifle, it has 3 scopes, it has 25 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters. So this auto rifle is energy based. And with an insane rate of fire, it overheats. But if you can manage your gun's heat level, it's basically unlimited ammo. Rate of fire is really good. Then you can see that your rate of uh, your heat rate is in the bottom left of your screen. It cools down. If you let it cool down, you can basically unload again. But if you're if you can't be bothered to check your heat levels, you always you still have enough. Um, Reserve ammos to par with other automatic weapons, so you can just fire away. Ah, cool. With the grenade, it's essentially what it says. Uh, it stuns or slows enemies in place. It has a 2 second cook. Well, it's 1.8, but it's almost 2. So, that's basically it. Against the automatons, it's fun to use against the rank and file grunts as it can mow them down with ease. But since it's only light armor penetrating, it means that you can't just will and nilly shoot the scout striders and <clears throat> you actually have to do the reach around trick. The stun grenades work pretty well against these guys, so may you, you may use it to your advantage. Or maybe you can just hit their head that's popping on the top. Devastators and berserkers, it functions the same as an auto rifle, but you can just mag dump on them anyway because you essentially have unlimited ammo. Hulks, it's the same. Just use your anti-heavy assets against these guys. The stun grenades stun basically anything except for the tank, so do keep that in mind. Against the Terminated Faction, it does really well against those pesky hunters and the other rank and file units, but for the mediums, it's also pretty decent, seeing as you can mag down pretty much anything. I killed a lot of stalkers with these, but with it only having a light armor penetrating stat, it can be a bother dealing with the bile spears and hive guards. Against the chargers, obviously you can't penetrate their, har their armor head on, but exploiting the weekend after the charge, you can take them down. The grenades stop both the bile titans and chargers on their tracks, so it is very useful if you want to line up that perfect headshot. Hey, bro. Wait, what? I wanted him. Hello? And that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and got enough information from it. And what do you think? Is it worth? Or is it just another meh weapon? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm excited to do some build with this weapon, so stay tuned. And with that said, go and spread freedom, Helldiver.